Hey everybody, welcome back to Digibro and Pals! Oh! 2552! Humanity is at war with aliens! When did this, when did they start, when did this become a thing? ODST! <laughs> I've never seen it do this before. I thought you guys were actually into this game. Huh? No. He's never first played time. it. I've never played ODST before. And every game so far other yeah, than Crash Bandicoot with us has oh, been Halo. Okay, I see. Of course I did. <laughs> yeah, how about, hey, well, hey, I'm Digi Bro and I've got with me, hey. I'm Josh. Yes. And I'm Brandon. Yeah, Brandon Tolentino and Josh are with me. It's been a while since you guys have been on the show. You might Welcome know me back. from such Let's Plays as Crash Bandicoot and Halo 2. Yeah, well me and Josh did Halo 2 and we kind of made it out like we were going to do all the Halo games. Which is still, I guess, the plan. I mean, <laughs> there's no time limit on this plan. It could take five years, or it could take five minutes. I want, it, I want it to get to the point where five years from I don't now, think can't take we, five just, <laughs> we just go back and we're like, okay, we're here playing yeah. Halo 4. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you think about it, the amount of time between our first attempt at playing Halo on the show and this... Is that the dude from Firefly? Yeah, that's Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion. I'm glad that you He's could point that out. He's in this one. He's also in Halo 5. His name is Buck in this? Is it, how many video games is he in? All of them. Because wasn't he also in like a? He's just in every video. Like game. another non-Halo game. The Mickey. No, I think that he's primarily. All right, so that guy's Halo. name's Romeo, and the other guy Mickey. So is he the same character in There's Five as he's Dutch. in this? Is that why he's? In uh, the movie? Yeah. I don't. Is he? I assume so. I don't know. I thought they just used his voice again. Why would you? Brandon has probably played <laughs> so much less Halo than you. <laughs> <laughs> Take him at his word. I just seen the trailers, man. That's all you need to see. Yeah, it's close enough. So check your mouth. Find you gotta your check your mouth. So here they are. They're uh, they they're so goofy. They're like they're, they're getting ready animated. to drop into the city because the shit's getting real down there. Inside a covenant ship. Like they they look. Then there's this guy. Like, they look like like burly space marine guys, but they're animated like Pixar characters. It's like really <laughs> fucking with me. Like, everyone's very like whoa. Yeah, it's like Wreck It Ralph. It's pretty amazing. Like that one game. <laughs> Hero's duty. Ooh. Hero's duty. Ugh. So you play as uh, a rookie who's oh, dropping yeah, I in. I remember what you're talking about. Orbital drop shock trooper. And then uh, you immediately fail and <laughs> have to go find your team. Why are you That's like, spoiling the, the story, Josh? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, because we are it. not going to pay any attention. Because this it. is the beginning of the game, and it, you're going to learn that in like two seconds anyway. So I feel like I asked this last time we played Halo, but what the hell happened to start buttons? Why did it, all controllers decide that start was no longer a Because thing? game consoles have become more of media devices than game systems. Is it options now? Oh, this also? is also the exp explanation. Op it's option on PS4. Yeah. On this, it's just a list button. It's like menu. It looks there's like a, uh, this. The three, lines, three lines is menu, and the two squares is options. I see. Uh, but it's because stuff. This has become more geared around media and rather than gaming. And to confuse non game to not confuse non gamers, right. they change the buttons. Just media in general. I don't think anyone like gamer or not gamer doesn't understand the concept of the start button. Have you worked at Best Buy before? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that terrifies me. I've, uh, in a way, Josh, <laughs> on a, I think it was either on Black Friday or just I went back to Best Buy to buy a PS4 game or something, and these this couple comes up to me, <laughs> and they were like, they were asking me, like, which games are online only and which games have, like, like local multiplayer. Like, but I mean, they were asking it in a way that... Like, I figured that out, that right. that's what they meant. They had no because, idea what they were asking, but that's what right. they wanted. <laughs> and, like, I'm really good at understanding people <laughs> giving me very vague instructions, you know, as a as a, uh, a professional linguist. So, I got what they were saying, and I explained to them what to do. I was like, if you look at the back, it'll say one to four players, or it'll say you know, online only and stuff. And so I explained that to them and, like, ran them through it, you know, because they were trying to... But it was, like, a... It was just an odd case because it was a, a black guy and a white lady, and the white lady looked sort of white trashy, but they were looking at PS4 games. And I got that sense that they kind of couldn't afford them, but they wanted one game, and so they were really trying to make sure that whatever game they got was one they could both play. <coughs> Because they could only afford the one game. That may so seem a, vaguely so racist, 
but it's exactly how I interpreted the situation. So this is actually, I think, the last Halo game that still has health packs. Uh huh. Because in this one, when your shield goes down, that's when it starts eating into your health. And Where then you are you have at? Because I'm already fighting shit. Then you have to go find a health pack yeah, station. I'm realizing that was a brute, I think. Okay, oh boy, R here I go killing e. again. Okay. Oh god. That's what I do. Uh, the okay, Orbiter's not in this gun? one? No. This is purely like a side story to Halo 3. This is awful. Yeah, this is like... I've. This looks very <clears> different. <throat> was this the same team who does the main Halo games? Like, what uh, was this? I don't know. Was it still Bungie? I don't know. Look at the box. I mean, I'm sure it was oh, wait, I don't have Bungie, a box. This is but digital. is it the same, like, <laughs> Hey, buddy. I'm here. Let's go kill some people. Where did you come from here? I don't know where you came from. Why did we start in different places? I have no idea. So this Very is odd. this is also a Halo where, like, it's more open. It's not like a straight linear level. Like, the, you're just sort of in the city and you have like, to go find things. Have you done the whole X button thing that it told you to do? Yes. Because it is apparently permanent. It just turns the world into a now no, I'm hit, playing Deus Ex. Hit X again. I know, but like... Oh, yeah. Like, you can leave it on forever. Yeah. And it just completely changes the entire aesthetic of the game <laughs> and makes it into Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, it's very interesting. Everything has yellow outlines, and you have somehow gone in a totally different direction from me, it seems. Isn't this the hub world? Isn't there it branches off from here? Is that so, a thing? That's how I feel it. What it it's, uh, it's, it's the city itself. It's after the main battle. Oh, Because oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you crashed into the side of the building, and now you're left behind from the rest of the war. You're just sort of trying to survive. The deserter alone. And then you have to basically figure out what happened to your team and try to reunite with them. Well, you seem to be going the right way because you're fighting stuff. Classic rule of video games. Yes. It is, uh, that's how games teach you through their level design is if there's nothing over there, it's probably not the way to go. You should run around until stuff starts spawning at you. Where'd he go? Yeah, currently the most hype I've ever been for anything Halo is seeing the Arbiter and Killer Instinct. And that is, I, I can't, like, believe that. <laughs> it's, it's really <laughs> fucking with me. I've never played a Killer Instinct, Instinct game, so I don't really know the aesthetic that well. But it's, hard, it's like, so difficult for me to imagine that they, they were making a fighting game and they didn't right. pick Master yeah, Chief, they picked, yeah, they picked the, the Arbiter. Arbiter. <laughs> a weird-looking, uh, gangly I think, gangly I think the, the Arbiter thing. fits the aesthetic of Killer Instinct more than... Yeah, more is, is than Killer Instinct like, uh, like an animals transformation yeah. game or something? Well, no. Yeah, it's a fighting game, like a couple of the characters It's got like fantasy creatures and animal. stuff. And it's like, so, yeah. your health is low, so you gotta actually come to this health station back here. Oh. And oh, pick up a health pack. God. Oh, okay. That was a mechanic in old games. <laughs> yes. It's a it's Which is kind of weird because like games. Halo 3 doesn't do that. I don't remember Halo 2 having health packs. I don't, like, it I don't think it did. had a shield that you could restore, but it didn't have health packs. Which you have a shield in this and you're basically taking cover so your shield doesn't go. Well, down. I guess cuz we're not Spartans is why we have to Oh do yeah, that. that's the other. Reason. Like the narrative reason for that would be that we are not Spartans. <laughs> so, now we got to, you know, Figure out where, where we're... the fuck we're going. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, an amazingly oh, okay. unclear. But there's a the thing; it's telling us to go this way. Oh, press a button and we'll tell you what to do because we didn't lay out the level in a way that would, <laughs> would uh, funnel you towards the goal. Okay, so look, we're at a payphone because that still exists it's in not a pay phone, this. It's a data terminal. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Jesus. Oh, this was our goal. Well, that's why we didn't know what the. Okay, fuck so it was. we got a pass. We were clearly looking for a door. To go <laughs> Oh. oh, we're downloading a map oh, into that's our right. uh, brains. We're still technically in a tutorial it's a mode It's cyberpunk. Right now. There you go. There's the so map. So now we have the map. Oh, all right. Can I move the map? Oh, we're still in tutorial. There we go. Uh, use. Okay. So there's the city. Hawkeye. That's the area. So this is that a hub. Locked. There's a, yes. like a, like six locked doors. Interesting. This is very different from Halo. And what it does. <laughs> I remember what it does. Uh, so you <laughs> I remember uh, you you find like pieces of your crew's stuff what do you press to zoom oops not the start button well it says something press oh it's R okay or yeah. right stick rather oh, that's like nav controls, right? oh we gotta uh, go so there so you find pieces of your crew's stuff and it basically puts you in like a flashback to figure out what happened to them and then Wait, you go find them over there Okay, this, uh, this path right here. Look at the intel. 
So we gotta go to the... Look, objective complete! We did it! What? We're what? winning! We're winning! <laughs> we're, we're winning! <laughs> this is <Jesus>. games! <laughs> this is games! Okay, alright, I gotta... No, do not re do not It won't let replay. me leave the damn tutorial. How do I get out of this? Look, you gotta hit Y, because you're going through... I just went through There's all the X tutorial, but you're still point. going through the tutorial. Oh... Uh, okay. Josh, you know what you have to do? Yes! Great. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no friendly fire. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the this is the worst kind of mandatory tutorial. <laughs> I, I don't care! Let me play the game! ODST seems to be a game that's in, like, the weird transition period where it's like we're leaving health packs in those old tutorial systems that are unskippable oh. to modern games where it just does everything for you. <sighs> this... This right here. Do not hit Y, hit B. This is some old-fashioned <laughs> bullshit right yeah, here. It is. Would you like to repeat Thank it? Thank God it wasn't the A button, at least. Because <laughs> that would have been a fucking nightmare. Alright, so let's go to the little smiley face. For okay. anyone who wasn't paying attention and didn't know what I was talking about, <laughs> they did the Kipora Gabora thing from Zelda, <laughs> where the owl's like, Oh, uh, yeah, uh, hit, uh, hit B if you want me to... Uh, you know, stop talking and hit A if you want me to repeat everything I just said. So that if dumb kids aren't paying attention, he'll talk forever. As you would know if you were a dumb kid who played that game and <laughs> made that mistake a bunch of times, like we did. So you, you turn on the visor thing and then you just become a god. There's no reason to not have it on. It's like the Batman thing. Well, I think in certain areas there's like lighting reasons you don't want to have it on, like you can't fucking see anything. Hey, Just turn the game down. Oh god! Oh, we're playing on Heroic, since I don't think we clarified that. Um, because I think we played Halo 2 on Normal. We and... played it on, our first attempt we played it on Legendary. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> not recorded anyway. <laughs> how did that go? But, uh... Yeah! <laughs> how do you reload again? Uh, right bumper. Okay. Had to make sure, because they changed the controls. That was a funny thing, like, in, in our in our Halo 2 Let's Play, then I, I went on that whole thing about how I was like, oh man, have I has it been that long since I played these games that I don't remember the controls for these? Because I, I kept hitting, <laughs> like, uh, square, or not square, but X for reload, and this is you were like, no, it's, it's right bumper. You were like, uh, yeah, I guess it's just been a long time since you played, and then people in the comments were like, actually, they just changed the controls for the new game. <laughs> it actually was the X button before, and for some reason they just decided it would All right, not be. Alright, so on, my, on the little compass, we got the little objective, like, telling us where to go. Yeah. I'm now Congratulations, following Congratulations, guys. You know how to follow We're an doing it. Marker. Oh, shotgun. I wow, found a shotgun. this is a lot of just navigating. Yes. We That's have, like, a, a compass on the screen, like, like a this, part of our visor when you When you're playing the rookie, it's like there's two different storylines going on. There's this guy trying to find his team, and then you go back to the teammates Nathan and what Philly. they did, and then it becomes like a regular Halo game where you're just going through a level. Yeah, are we enemies. Nathan Fillion? No, we are not are Nathan Fillion. Rookie A and Rookie B? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they didn't actually give us names. We're just the rookie. Yeah, see, see like... That, you guys haven't We attained. collectively are the rookie. <laughs> what is going on here? I identify as a rookie. Oh, I can inspect? Oh, Ugh. this is so what this I was is, here So this for. is where we are now starting. I just level. thought it was a funny little background detail, but it was actually <laughs> the objective. This is an odd game. This is very different. Oh, man. It's very jarring compared to the other Halo games where you just, you're a badass, you do the thing. You finish the game. See, that's not fun though. You don't always want to be like overpowered. This one, you're not overpowered because you're just a, you're basically a regular soldier. Yeah. It's like I like how it says flashback in the subtitles, so we know. Yeah, if you're deaf and you're <laughs> all right, I skipped playing. it. That was the end of level one. Was it? Technically. Should we end the episode then? I don't know. We didn't really Next do anything. Next time on Digi and Pals. Uh, <laughs> more riveting more entertainment. Halo we ODST. get into some deep, dark conversations. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's leave it running for a little bit because I wanted to comment on something. Okay. You know. Uh, Not the end of the episode, everybody. I've mentioned, Just kidding. I mentioned earlier that people have compared this game to Metroid Prime in Atmosphere. Okay. And it's... Uh, you you read uh, Film Crit Hulk's book? We talked yes. about it on the last yes, Halo I did. Let's Play. Uh, we might get into that more later since you finished it since then. 
But did he talk at all about his tangible details thing? Uh, I do remember him talking about it. I think he talked about it in reference to Kung Fu Panda. He was talking about tangible details as in when people, uh, <coughs> like, want to try to explain why something is good or bad, but they just stick with, like, the surface details of what it is. Yeah. Uh, his original post about it was about hair and how every time someone wants to criticize a casting choice They'll always blame the hair color. Oh, I do remember. Yeah, he did yeah. talk about that like a, at length Yeah, he'll always say like oh, they shouldn't have... Oh, never mind. I did not skip. <laughs> a button skipped. All right um, He'll say things like you know like whenever like someone's cast for a role and then they suck People will be like oh, they shouldn't have cast her. She looked nothing like the character but then if they're good then people won't complain about it, like, once it's out. Like, with uh, with Daniel Craig as James Bond, people complained about it before he was James Bond because he didn't look like him. And now he's, like, but, one of the definitive Bonds. Yeah, and then as soon as people saw the movie, nobody complained about it anymore because they because he was such a good performance. Yet, if, it was, if he hadn't been good, people would have blamed the fact that he didn't look like Bond instead of blaming the actual, you know, acting, which would have been why he wasn't a good Bond. Is that a hunter? No, that's like a That is not a hunter. <laughs> he's he's different. Uh, anyway. It's not good to judge people because... The reason different. I was bringing that up is that, uh, so far the only thing about this that reminds me of Metroid Prime in any way is that you get lost really <laughs> easily. And I'm wondering if people are like, oh, it's just like Metroid Prime, you get lost. You don't know where the fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that might be the that case. That would be the epitome of... Of confusing the tangible details for uh, for the actual qualities of the game. All right, next time on Digibro and Pals, uh, we will continue. I've made one analytical point, so that episode was complete. Yeah. <laughs>